I just think about, you know, kind of a compassionate, forgiving being who is there and who offers his love and support through everything. Pretty much everywhere, like, you know, the Pledge of Allegiance um, in the Constitution and a few other places that I don't know. A being that may or may not be our creator, that if he didn't exist, it would be necessary for humanity to create him. I, I think of like a person, or not even a person, just something that like I guess watches over us and um, is in charge, you know? I guess mostly I think of like my grandma, because she was very religious in my life, so. The giant hand in the sky, the bearded man who makes all the wonderful things happen. <laughs> I think about somebody who believes in a greater power beyond Earth. It's not a word that when we feel very surprised, I was say, oh my god. <laughs> I heard he was Jewish and like some people think he's a prophet, some people think he was just a regular guy, but I'm, I think he was very smart from what I heard. I consider him the son of God. Um, he was dope, he was mad nice and give a, he did a lot of miracles and stuff. Not of real importance, but he's an icon that, it, that is good. God himself who took the form of flesh and he came down this earth and did a whole bunch of really good things for us and because of that we can live the way we do now and we could live uh, with freedom and freedom from sin particularly. I just think he's another one, another human being that walked on this earth. I, I don't, it's not, nothing. Right. I, it's not, I don't believe in Jesus. I think of a man being nailed to a cross and I also think of like Christmas, Easter. Um, I like to believe in Jesus Christ even though I'm kind of a skeptic because for me, I, I like to think that if there's a chance of there being something after this life, that it'd be good to, you know, ask for redemption now, ask for things like this that make you kind of more of a spiritual person in case there is a chance of it. But I'm not sure if I believe in them or not. I believe it's Jesus as a friend that can help guide, but it's not the answer to everything. You know, they should go out and serve and do as much as they can for everybody, because God loved everyone, not just a couple people. I think of my dad, because my dad likes to go to church a lot, so he brings my entire family. To help others. To keep rules among people and keep them in a certain, like, to keep them a certain way. I don't believe that there needs to be a place where I have to go to listen to somebody tell me what to believe in. I think that everybody needs something to believe in so that they can think that there's something more powerful than they are. Make people aware of like the Bible, that you should read it. Church is really a great way for people of the same faith and the same beliefs to come together and talk about it and find strength in each other. Recently it's been more of a bane because of um, just hijacking and not actually being there for the scripture and it beyond, going beyond that and being used as not recruitment, but just not uh, not completely sticking to their own morals. I think of uh, family and unity and peace. It's you know if you believe, if you follow the Christian faith, you go to church and you pray to pray in God's house, all that stuff. You know it's, it's what people do if you follow the Christian religion. Church is like a community, I think. Heaven, it's a it's a pretty majestic and angelic place. And if you don't commit any sins, then you get to go there. Just kind of a perfect, ideal paradise where, um, you know, if you live as God wants, you go there when you die. Like sunshine and like clouds, but like the white puffy clouds, not the, not the gray clouds. I don't know, I haven't been there yet. Uh, heaven, I think more of an idea than a physical place. Paradise. Could be anything, like from just an oasis of time, just spending all your life there, or it could be, you know, just an endless place where you meet all the people from your own life that have passed away and gone on. I just imagine it to be this really like nice place where everything is kind of like always happy and always nice, nothing bad really happens. It's really scary to think about, but I would like to think about it as being reunited with my family and such. I kind of believe that there is a reincarnation. I don't really know if we go to heaven or if we go to hell. There is no real answer. Nobody knows what comes after this. Can't tell what it is or where it is or how it's like, but just something that I strive to get to. If I had to pick what a heaven would be, like heaven, it'd probably be like being able to just have like endless cheeseburgers or something. I don't know, just being constantly full.